pag weekend, first thing that you think about doing is going to the mall. Um, pag Friday night, kain kayo sa labas. Pero dito, pag Friday night, kukuwentuhan lang kami buong gabi. <laughs> Hello! Hi, SP Momshies and Daddies! Hi, my name is Joey Ong. I'm the first ever Daddy Editor at Large from Smart Parenting. So today, I'm gonna give you guys a tour of our Kubo. Come on, come inside. And give you guys a taste of what it's like to live in the province. Alright, so as you can see, uh, we have two Kubos here. This is the main house. And to my left is our Chesta Kubo, where we hang out during the day. So come on, I'll show you guys the main house. You guys are probably wondering, no? Why bamboo? If you look at it, it looks very natural and really perfect for the environment. A lot of people actually ask me, eh, bakit ko na isipan na bamboo? Pwede naman ako mag container van, pwede ako mag concrete bahay na bato. But you know, for me, kasi if you're gonna move to the province and you're gonna stay in a natural environment like this, it's always better or nicer. Paka, you know, mukaring siyang natural, like for example, a kubo. And you know, it's very sturdy and surprising, no? Dito talaga nagulat ako. It only took them 21 days to finish this from ground up, from clearing this whole area to building this kubo. And galeng, sobra ako nagulat at how they do it. Filipinos are really good at creating these things. So, come on, I'll take you guys inside para I can show you what makes our modern kubo different from the other ones. So, welcome to our kubo. This is our porch. When you enter, you're gonna see that there are two rooms from left to right. We've decided to create a 50 to square meter kubo lang in a 1,000 square meter space. The reason for that is we wanted it to be sprawling, no? We wanted to have a big garden so that our kid will have a place to play. And we want to keep developing it as the years go by. We're building it one part at a time. So later, I'll show you guys the other kubo. But for now, I'll take you guys for a tour inside our modern day kubo. Okay, so this is the bedroom. This is actually our bedroom. If you notice, no? It's kubo on the outside, but inside, it's actually Designed like a real house. We made sure that we finish finishing the wall. We wanted it white, and of course, we got some bed sheets from IKEA. And come here, I'll show you guys. Um, this is the barn door which goes to the bathroom. If you guys notice, um, I have windows like this, jealousy style windows. And for me, the design is really perfect. I super like it. And what I did with it is, it's wrapping around the house. So whenever we open all the windows, talagang pumapasok yung natural air. So we're really tubaga, making the house part of the environment. And that's really how we designed it. So come on, I'll show you guys the other room. Okay, so this is bedroom number two. It's exactly the same as the other room. It also has its own toilet. We made sure that we had one para we can invite our families, our friends over. So that they can visit us and they can sleep over para ma-enjoy rin nila yung kubo namin. So now I'm going to show you my favorite part of our kubo. Come on! This is my open kitchen. If you look at it, it's kind of set up, it's not yet finished. But I have my sink here, I have my prep area here, and eventually I'm going to have my stove here. Actually, I'm cooking lunch for later. Kanina, this morning, we were able to visit this farm where we picked our own veggies. So that's how it's easy, right? Our family's house in this area, they have their own plants, they have their own, plans, have their own uh, garden. So it's very accessible. Farm to table, it's really good. This area, as you can see, it's still a work in progress, but this is actually going to be um, an open activity area where we're going to have the floor bricked. Tapos, as you can see, we have our breeze wall na usong uso ngayon. Maraming may gusto yan because it's very Instagrammable. Actually, I think this design came from the 70s and eh, na nauuso na lang ulit ngayon. But come on, I'll show you guys where the farm will be. So this part, I'm going to build mga elevated um, gardens, so maybe maybe three to four. We got some tomatoes, chilies, um, some edible flowers. Not everything, no? Because as you can see, my neighbors, naman, they have their own plants, so we can just share. So you've seen the main house. Now I'm going to show you guys our Shesta Kubo. Come on. So as you can see, it's pretty open. Um, and what's inside is like a giant day bed. So the whole day, all we do here is hang out. This is where we eat our lunch. Practically, we spend the whole day in this house. So you're probably wondering why did we move out of the city and move here? Actually, it's a pandemic. Um, like most of us, uh, na apekto han talaga tayo ng COVID um, in 2020, and kami pa kami ng baby, so talagang nag nagkaroon ng purpose, na nagkaroon ng reason kung bakit um, kailangan namin magdecide. Uh, imagine we had everything that we needed. We lived in a condo in Salcedo. Pag may kailangan ka, babaka lang, may convenience store. 
So my trade off siya, no? Of course, convenience over this, you know, all this space, not fresh air. There's so much activities for our son. Right now, we super enjoy it every time we're here. Para kami naglalaro, para kami nagbabahay-bahayan. And I think that's really part of it. We're a young family. We have a young son. And talagang we're blessed by that opportunity to actually spend time together and explore. Mahina Wi-Fi dito, so we're forced to actually really bond together and nagkakano kami ng chance to really enjoy all the basic things again. Like, you know, discovering new plants, trying out new fruits, walking around. Mga simple things, no, na... Nagulat nga ako eh, na parang nakalimutan na natin siya eh, because we're living in the city and talagang lahat accessible. There's something inside me that got reignited. Growing up, I used to have this bonding time with my dad. I have a brother. We'd always do a lot of DIY. We'd always do a lot of um, handiwork at home. But you know, when we moved here, uh, wala, natuto ko ulit to do stuff and to make that another bonding opportunity for me and my son. Right now, tinuturuan ko na siya. As early as two years old, no, I'm, I'm teaching him how to be creative with his toys. Soon, when we start planting, kaya mag gardening na kami. So kung baga, that for me is making me a better dad. Nakakalimutan natin yung legacy eh, ng pagiging parent. And you know, all the good things that was passed on to us, it's something that we should pass on to our kids as well. If you're gonna ask us now if it's gonna be forever na nandito kami, uh, we don't know. But for now, I think we're gonna be here for a long time until maybe we do need to go back again to the city. But right now, because we can do our work naman remotely, I doubt it if we're gonna go back to the city anytime soon. I'm sure maraming kagaya namin no, na nag to do the same thing, to actually get out of the city. My advice is, you know, if you can, if you can afford it, why not, di ba? What are you waiting for? Kami, when we made this decision, ang una kong inisip is, number one, our kid. Second is, aantayin pa ba namin na matanda na kami before we enjoy this, di ba? Retirement naman is not something that you that you do when you're old na. I think um, we can all work remotely and it's something that we can all adjust to. Um, the fact that, you know, there's Wi-Fi available naman everywhere, it's actually very doable. These things that I, I'm sharing, um, you can actually catch more of it, pausapang tatay in Smart Parenting. Uh, marami pa akong gustong i-share ng mga kwento, marami pa akong gustong i-share ng mga stories about our style of parenting. Of course, uh, we're just one of the many styles. It's not a cookie cutter we're in. Ito yung the ideal. But I, I, I guess what's nice about this opportunity is most of us dads out there can actually join in the conversation with Smart Parenting and you guys can also share your stories. Maganda nga to eh, para mapakita natin sa mga tao na iba-iba man tayo ng mga ways of living our lives or approach to parenting. Isa lang naman yung goal natin eh. To be a good father, to be a good husband, and of course, to be the best parent that we can be.